Hi, everybody, and welcome to Take Your Time Gaming. I'm your host, Katie. We are now on episode 46 of Fist of the North Star Lost Paradise. We are pretty close to the end of the game. I am done with side content. I haven't completed every sub story or every mini game, but I personally am done with that. So uh, we probably only have a couple more episodes where we're finishing up uh, the main quest last episode. Uh, Kisana told us that her father, Narayi, would probably be sneaking into the city at night. So we're heading to the Wither Tree where uh, supposedly Narayi was spotted. So grab a tasty beverage and let's get started. Now it has been a good few weeks since I played this game, so I'm a bit rusty with combat. I had one battle on my way over here, just as practice. But uh, hopefully the remaining boss battles in the game go okay. So I'm not, this is the tree. Oh, perhaps this is, he's a new man. Staring at a dead tree. Because that's what I like to do in my time off. Stare at dead trees. Hmm. That just sounds depressing. So we're probably going to have to run around the city to all of his favorite little hangouts in order to finally find him. Okay, so to the casino. And if we do see some random thugs, I will probably battle them just as practice, but I will cut out those battles. Let's see. All the way opposite. So we'll run past the Coliseum to get there. Yeah. Here's some dudes. Gonna kill him. Okay, guys, I got into a random battle on my way here. I leveled up the stone mountain split technique, so that is max level now, and we are at the casino. I did lose an embarrassing amount of HP in that fight. <laughs> I want to know why Lord Nadai commissioned the building of a casino that cheats. I was very disappointed in its gambling games. <laughs> wow, what a descriptor. Middle-aged man. Poor guy. That's not very exciting. You don't even get a name. Just an age range. And put money back into the city. I mean, who doesn't have a weakness for gambling? Well, good. He actually was spotted. Alright, time to continue our investigation at the Chimney District. Let's exit the casino, because I am not willing to waste any of my hard-earned money. And we're going to go look for clues. Let's check our map. The ch yes, the Chimney District is right in front of our house, so it's just a hop, skip, and a jump away. I keep trying to use like Sekiro controls and I have to remember that I fight with square and triangle predominantly not the R1 button which is lock on and doesn't actually do a very good job of locking on at that. 
Alright. Uh, perhaps the old woman. Ah, here you are. Interesting. Nada used to sleep here? Huh. It's kind of eerie that we're sharing a room that Nada you slept in. All right, time for the junk shop. So it's this kind of thing, might as well heal up while I'm here, that has made me decide not to continue with the side content because it's just, the game adds false padding. None of our little investigations, like to and from all of these different places are adding anything to the story, really. Uh, we could learn all of this about Nadai in one encounter if they wanted to expand his character a bit more. And I know this is a lower budget game, but I'm kind of fed up with the whole added padding to add game length. Hi, Tsuki Poo. Especially, you know, when you take your buggy out in the wasteland, they say, okay, go to this village. And then you encounter a bunch of boulders and like, I'm sorry, you don't have the required buggy parts to bypass this area of the wasteland. And it happens all the time with the main story. And I'm just, I am over it. I really am. It, I, this game doesn't really respect the player's time. And as someone with very limited time, I don't really appreciate that. Even though the story and the combat, I really enjoy. It just doesn't make me want to complete the side content because I've already wasted enough time uh, on their little fetch quests and their game padding stuff. Oops. Well, why don't you guys tell me what you think about extra padding in video games? Is it just something that hey, you know what, I'm gonna enjoy it and take it because what it is to me is simply more gameplay and I really enjoy that and maybe I just have sort of a jaded opinion of it. Ooh, yikes. And it's not padding at all. God. Alright, getting, getting some skills back a little bit. Still fiddling with the camera. Not totally used to my camera controls. Oof. I think what makes me f find even more frustration with the game padding in this game is that I love the Yakuza games. And those don't they have so much content, but none of it feels like forced. None of it feels like you have to do it simply to increase your gameplay time. <laughs> you saw him? I love the lack of shocked face. I did really enjoy the bartending minigame, though. But the host club minigame was not nearly as fun as I thought it was going to be. The host club game in Yakuza 0 is fun as heck. And this one is just sort of a dumbed down version. <laughs> All right. Next place. Oh. oh yeah, I forgot I can't run in indoors. All 
All right. Time to report back to Kisana. And then hopefully she'll have an idea of where to send us next. And then I'm crossing my fingers that we have a final confrontation with Narai and we move this main story along. Because this was 10 minutes of running all around the city for no reason. I just don't want to fight these goons. I feel like I'm sufficiently warmed up. Oh, I'm just going to talk to someone. Nope. Can't talk to them. Damn. You gave up, guys, right when I was cornered. Alright, doodles. That's what I like to call the uh, ring around the rosy technique. Nope. Damn it. <sighs> I'm over the random battles. Alright, I'm gonna cut this out. Alrighty, peeps. I beat those goons. Save the game just in case. And we are at the church where Kisana is. I did level up too, and I allocated some skill points. Uh, like, if I dodge at the right moment and increase in my 7-star gauge. Just some basic stuff. <gasps> oh no! Funnily enough, it is nighttime. Oh my gosh. And now I have to go all the way back and rest. <sighs> Probably. Let's see, unless something just happens because it is already nighttime. Which I'm hoping... No, I'm gonna have to walk all the way back to my house. Okay, I'll come back to you guys uh, when Narai makes his move. Oop, I am back! Because uh, somebody was in my house! <laughs> write down this timestamp. Alright, how did you get in here and why are you here? Are you ready for this big boss battle? Is basically what the game is asking. <laughs> At least let me rest first. Alright, I'll sleep. And then we will tell her yes. I have continued to use Nugget in all of these random battles, despite the fact that... Oop, that is not what I meant to do. I didn't mean to save. I don't care about saving. Yes! Oh my god, how many times do I have to say yes? I should probably rest until nightfall again, huh? Since Nadai isn't going to make his move until... I'll just go ahead and rest until nightfall. Just be on the safe side. Now I can't recall if this... What chapter are we on? Chapter 11. I think chapter 11 is our last chapter, or chapter 12 is, but there is an epilogue as well after that. But I thought my brother in Hokuto Shinkan would be our final boss battle, so I don't think Narai is the last one. He's probably the penul penultimate boss. Oh God, are you telling me we have to run all the way back to... What? Gameplay recording paused because you entered a blocked scene? I've never seen that before. When I was recording Fist of the North Star. Hopefully this is not... Hopefully this is actually recording. Because I'm using a capture card, I'm not recording directly off the PS4, I'm recording through my PC, so... You changed your armor. I like that new armor set. Looks like a demon. Why 
すべて話してくれさえすれば父上に刃を向ける必要もなかったなのにどうしてこのスピアシティの秘密はあまりにも重い No, that's stupid. What have we learned? Guys, communication is key. Stop keeping secrets from family. It just leads to things like this. Not if I have anything to say about it. You can tell his powers are evil because they're red aura, not blue like mine. How shocking. Now we gotta win this, because if we lose, our girlfriend is gonna get murdered. So. I have another option, it's called killing you. It already happened! What's another one? We can handle it. I love the music right now. You don't need to. I'm level 49, bro. Come at me. Come at me. Alright, let's do this. First boss battle in like a month. Versus Narai, founder of Eden. Yeah, you already said that. But if you want to change your mind and actually go a little bit... In the butt! Press too soon. That's okay. Yeah, that's right. This is not- yeah. I was gonna be like, this is not his final form. I told you his armor looked like a demon! What did I just say? He's definitely part demon now. Uh, this is what happens when you sell your soul to Satan. Nice horns, dude. Ouch. Well, that hurt. Haha, <laughs> my fists are faster. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Get some! Demon Dad? 
We're gonna call him Demon Daddy from now on. Yeah! Peace! We win! That went really well, surprisingly so. I am a little suspicious. Does he have a third form? Especially with how rusty I am. You can stand me up at the gates of hell, but I stand my ground. And it won't back down. Sophia Steve. I mean, let him keep trying. I can beat him over and over again. That's one thing I do still love about this game is the combat. The boss fights are super fun. I love how cinematic they are. Oh god, it's you again, you pots. I want to rip out all of your facial piercings, one by one. One by one! Yeah. It's not over. You're still breathing, therefore I must kill you! Ooh. Well, that's problematic. What? Mick Jagra? What? What is going on? I mean, liar, I'm not really surprised that you're betraying me, because you're kind of serpenty, but McJagra, you love Kisana! You love me! I'm your bro! We have the best bromance ever! McJagra? Okay, not gonna lie, I didn't see that coming. Jeez. Do you go to land the juggle? We really should have killed you when we had the chance. No, that's not possible. ナダイが街から出て行ったのは目撃されていた。I don't believe Jagger would even shoot Kisana. I think we should go for him. He looks like he's ready for a Yu-Gi-Oh duel. His outfit is very Yu-Gi-Oh-esque. Kimitsu 
Yeah, we know that already. I don't know if your life is funny, but your death would be amusing. I have no idea who Raja is. Mm. ライラとタルガは親父同様あんたの剣で廃人にされた衛兵たちの子だ父親の仇討ちかそれでお前たちは裏で結託し長代に復讐する機会を狙っていたのか確かに私はスフィアシティの秘密を守るため死ぬ中
Hopefully not a kill shot. I like his gun. Oh, the engraving. Ooh. That one might be a kill shot. You're gonna kill him anyway, so what kind of threat is that? Yeah, he just wants the nuclear power. I mean, he's bash it, so... <laughs> I didn't think that he really cared that his father was killed. Whoa! Now that's one hell of a piercing. So he's a cyborg. Good luck, bro. Haha. <laughs> -ha. Oh god. That was but a scratch though. He'll be fine, I'm sure. Me a little cyborg man. あの透明なドームを閉めることはできるのか何時間がない早く教えてくれ奇跡の間に緊急防御装置がある女が眠る場所の近くにある赤く光るボタンだそれを押せば施設内の全ての扉が閉め封じ込めるだろう。ミサイルが発射されても外の世界は無事だということだな。おそらくは。Maybe。わかっている。俺はユリアに会えればいい。The <笑> ending better not be like Yuri and I perishing along with Cyborg dude. Yeah, good. Jagger's alive. I love that nod. He's like, you're still my bro. It's okay. I know you love me. You didn't want to betray me. This song rocks. <laughs> what? Man, these little guys do a lot of damage. Probably 
probably should have stocked some more healing items. Ow, dick. Woo! Yeah, got that one. Why, yes, I'm downloading Starish until the end of time. Why do you guys ask? <laughs> Speaking in tongues. It's funny, I may not have played this game in a month, but I'm like right back into it now. It is very intuitive. I can say that about the combat system. Excuse me! That skill will, where I regenerate some health each time I, uh... Each time I kill an enemy is so useful. Who's next? Sorry, there, uh, you might hear some construction sounds. Be picking that up. My husband is actually working on building us a patio right now, so. They are grinding some stone right now. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I built a wall! I'm so amazing! We'll see. You don't think I can climb that bitch? Watch me. No, apparently I gotta go around. Okay, well. Like this little platforming bit. <laughs> oh gosh, of course. I guess this is just a way to give you a little bit of extra experience points. That was clumsy, I know. You don't have to say it. <laughs> nope, don't think so. Sometimes I don't want to do the perfect channeling because I get moments of immunity when I'm doing those attacks. And it helps uh, kind of spread these guys out. You can die in a hole. Haha. <laughs> now kiss. Oh, too soon. This episode clearly is going to go long, but I didn't want to interrupt it because we're in the middle of so much drama. I'm 
I'm surprised this one hasn't leveled up yet. I've used it so many times. Maybe it'll level up soon. I leveled up at least, so that's nice. I'm level 50, which seems like a good... I want that. Good level to beat the game at. I'm just getting lazy. Dead. I wonder if I should eat a jerky. That's what I guess. Oh, no. I will take those, thank you. What, I got that one. God, these guys do a lot of damage. I'll wait for that. Come here. I might as well go ahead and eat it. A bakken. Actually, let's see about leveling up too while we're here. Go ahead and do this. Okay. And the problem with getting perfect channelings is that they don't increase your health once they're dead. So you have to use a secret technique in order to uh, increase your health. Let's not kick the tripod, Katie. But it is nice for just a Let's break up these guys. I really want to level this one up before uh, the final boss. I don't know why. I just like it. <laughs> Need some HP. I like how I can't just hop down. I guess there. I have to do a somersault flip each time. It's the technical term, by the way, somersault flip. Ow, wasn't prepared for that. These are like the elite army of ruined dudes. Yeah, 
Ow. What the crap? Somebody has a... Yep, it's that guy. Ow. Come on, get up. What you get for trying to pincer attack me, bros? You and your little, like, explodey grenades can die in a hole. God, I hope I have enough healing items for this final boss. Or second to last, I guess. Piece of shit! Okay. Be good if there was, you know, an opportunity to save at least. Oh god, hammer bro. Something tells me this may be our final wave of enemies. What with Hammer Guy, the big heavy, appearing. We'll see. I'm stunned? Oh my god. Come on. That's really annoying. I was using my lock on and everything, but he wouldn't lock on to the enemy closest to him. Come on! Take that extra health boost. Thank you. These games almost remind me of a... The, like, the Warriors games. Like... Where it's just mob after mob after mob and what you're doing is just killing tons and tons of enemies over and over again. Kill Spearbro. That messed up. That one is always so fast, I'm never expecting it. There we go. Got that guy. Oh yes! Health, 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 health so rare that they actually drop health. Could use another canned ration game. Oh god. I, was, I lied. Oh 
definitely not the end of the mobs. Ow. Fracker. Yeah. Oh, come on, I pressed it. Whatever. Kills him anyway. These puppies up. I could use a health boost. What you get? Ah, oh, dick. Definitely want the health boost on this, so not gonna hurt a quick channel. Might as well use that now. Yep. <laughs> We're evil if you couldn't tell by our laughs. Nope. Gotta lure them into like attacking me together. Two birds with one stone and another level up, dang. Oh god, fire? What the hell? Get up! Yes! That one leveled up! Look, finally! Hee hee hee. Nice. I figured it would this last little round. Most of my secret techniques are three stars. With the health boost. I can't believe how long it took me to realize exactly what I needed to do to get a perfect channeling, but now that I have figured it out, it's actually quite easy. Too slow. Oh my god. Get up, Kenny. Alright, we're gonna have to eat a, another bacon. Now! Stop it! Oh my god.
If I can't save after this, I'm going to be very distressed. If I have to fight Targa without saving, it's going to suck. Oh my god, get out of the way. Get up. A new death cry though. Alright, th these must be my final guys. Let's go down here and s no. Okay, I thought those were stairs. Thought maybe I could find a canned ration. All right, so we just had two mini bosses, so I'm hoping that was the end of them. That would have been a perfect place for food. Oh my god, seriously. I'm gonna run out of food. this, get some HP back. This is never ending, oh my god. I'm just gonna keep doing this to regain some HP rather than perfect channel it. Even if it does take a little bit longer because you have to sit through the entire animation of them dying. for you. Not a fan of being lit on fire. Shit. That hurt. 
I don't want to die, so... I should have brought my... Oh, I didn't think this was going to be the final, final battle. Would have brought my best health items. Yeah. Don't like you. I came up, so we know we're gonna. Okay, I think we're done. Maybe. I see a ration. Could have been better. Hopefully, target is not too hard. Katie, you can't die. Do you understand me? You cannot die here, because do you really want to have to go through all of that again? No. That was like 20 minutes of mobs. Oh my god, we're finally, like, practically face-to-face -face with Yuria! Oh my gosh. Yeah, <笑>逆なんだよ。俺はな。再びこの世界を核の炎で焼き尽くすつもりだ。なんだと。why would you want to destroy every other human on the planet? Then you have nobody to rule. I wonder what his dad was like before, now that you killed him. Oh, gross. Kedamonotachino俺の本当の目的さ。誰事もそこまでにしろ。そんなことはさせ。おお。できるかな。貴様ごとき。いくら強かろう。どうだ、どうだ、どうだ。なだ以外、この体に叶うものはいない。Beaten you twice now. Kami tonaru watashitono chigai yo misete yaro. Hokuto shinken ni fukano wa nai. Omae no suki ni wa sase. Hey, dual pistols, uh, cheating. Target the Ascendant. Alright. First. Since we leveled up again. And I'm gonna have to eat something, good. Okay. 
Ow, frack. Okay. Final, final shot is the crotch stomp. Woo! He was a nimble little guy. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Hey dude, you've looked uh, better. It's like bloodborne and brain fluid. I don't know. Shin Megami Tensei taught me that you can kill a god. Finally. Red button. Every time I see giant hourglasses, I can't help but think of Aladdin when Jafar traps Princess Jasmine in a giant hourglass, and it's terrifying because she's almost going to suffocate and drown under the, the sand. It gave me nightmares when I was a child. <laughs> This is Sleeping Beauty. I'm not crying, you're crying.
剣なの愛してるユリア私もよ俺の頼みを聞いてほしい何俺と一緒に死んでくれ。いいわ、ケン Oh god, I really hope we don't die. Did I get the bad ending? <laughs> Were there multiple endings? <laughs> I mean, I thought I still had to kill him. Like, I thought he was final boss. That's what my brother made it sound like. My other brother, the one at the prison. an epilogue so I guess this was not the penultimate episode after all this is the final episode uh, WTH mate volcano someone's name is volcano that's pretty awesome so yeah I guess we'll find out in the epilogue you know how Eden gets on after the explosion, but okay, I can't stand it. I have to- oh, my phone is in the other room. Dang it. I need to check and see if I got the bat- I mean, I didn't think there were multiple endings in this game. I thought there was only one. I mean, it was kind of beautiful, but damn, are you kidding me? Maybe I, I was supposed to do all of the side content if I wanted to get the good ending. I can't stand it. I have to look it up. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut all of the credits. You've basically heard my review of the game already. Like, combat is awesome, music is awesome, uh, hate the padding of the game. I mean, y you get it. So, uh, I'm gonna cut out the credits and I'll pick you guys back up at the epilogue. And I'm gonna look up and see if I got the bad ending. So, uh, yeah. Cutting here for now. We're back. And according to my research, there are not multiple endings. Well, at least uh, she forgave Jagra. That's nice. We were sitting.
早く目が覚めたかユリア We lived and we're together. I love a happy ending. Oh, he promised the little girl from the beginning of the game that he would bring her a whole crate of apples. And he's fulfilling that promise. He's such a good dude. Oh, yay! All right, so that's the epilogue. Oh, we got our silver trophy, the Man of Hokuto, and two million. IDL. So I do know that uh, we can continue playing, you know, finishing up side content, and then there is a new game plus mode. Uh, I will not be doing any more. Yes, Endless Eden has been added to the menu. You can enjoy the game independent of the story around the world doing as you please. So if you want the platinum trophy, you can continue. And it also adds the extra hard difficulty. So death is final. And I'm gonna go ahead and save my clear game data on a new file as it recommended, just in case I ever decide to play it again. But yeah, guys, that's Fist of the North Star Lost Paradise. I hope you enjoyed it. I found it really fun in the beginning and the middle, but it did start to drag. Uh, with all the game padding and unfortunately a lot of the side content like the mini games they're not as fun as uh, they were in Yakuza 0 they were lacking stuff so uh, if I do decide to play Yakuza Kiwami on the channel uh, I will let you guys know or I'll put up a poll and include that to see how you get what you guys think about that for now that's it if you did enjoy this please leave a thumbs up, share it around, uh, follow me on Twitter at TYT Gaming, capital K, capital C, hit that notifications bell. And uh, I am about 18 subscribers away at this moment from 500. At 500, my Patreon will go live and that will allow any of my patrons uh, to help direct the direction of my channel and help choose, uh, they'll have a larger say in what games I will be playing. So thank you guys again for sticking with me through Fist of the North Star Lost Paradise. For the most part, I did really enjoy it. So I think that's it. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers. <laughs>